welcome to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Lee Keller. I'm Kim Cavanaugh. What are we going to talk about today? I don't know, Lee. Why don't we talk about some free software free? That, is, um, that is as good as commercial software that you would pay a lot of money for. Wow. Do you think the commercial companies are going to beg to differ on this? Well, <laughs> I think they might, and I think there might be some reasons why you might need to use Microsoft Office. But we're going to be talking we're about trouble a thinking of those reasons. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to be talking about another program called Open Office. Okay. So um, we'll be looking at Open Office today, and particularly kind of tie into last week's show when we were doing spreadsheets. Okay. Because Microsoft Excel is pretty much the de facto standard for creating spreadsheets. And if you're working in an environment, a corporate environment or a business environment, okay. and you need to be able to share documents and use macros and some of the other mm -hmm. complicated things that Excel can do, yeah. Um, a lot of companies just stick with Excel. Yeah, but they probably don't know that if you have OpenOffice, you can save it in an Excel format. Oh, well, so they probably don't know that. They, and as yeah. you uh, mentioned before, um, we were talking, uh, some big organizations have gone ahead and said, thank you very much, Microsoft. We love all the work that you've done all these years, but we don't really need your products uh, for what we're doing for our work any longer. Don't need to pay for it anymore. Don't. So the state of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. and, again, and that's a great example. I mean, big organization, all, the entire state, mm -hmm. they decided they were going to do away with using all Microsoft main offices, Office. Yeah. Um, I think there's another state where they are in their education environment. They've gone completely yeah. over, open to open office. Um, open Office is a program made by Sun Microsystems. They make the program or the programming language called Java. Yeah, well, they um, sort of started Open Office with Star Office. And they did. This is sort of spun off, and it's now an, an open source. We've talked about open source before, mm -hmm. and it's basically a regulated community project, and the community being the entire world. Exactly, and and you can find all sorts of great things to extend the abilities of the software. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, we're going to be talking today mostly about spreadsheets as we tie in. But maybe in another um, uh, another episode, we'll talk about how you can do presentations using Open yeah. Office or word processing. Their presentation or, product or is excellent. Image editing. I mean, it's got a lot of really wonderful tools in it, um, and it's a it's a great great product. And the cost okay. of it is, I'm sorry, did, did we, free. Free. I love F -R -E -E, free. F R E E free. And um, to get Open Office, all you really need to do is go to the website and you download it right. and install it on your computer. And we've got up here on our, our slide a couple other things too. Now we've got the website for Open Office, right. which is openoffice.org. Correct. But there's another product that we also looked at for the Macintosh platform, that. and that's the one I use. Yeah. And uh, it's very much like it has the same exact yeah. capabilities of Open Office. The only difference is it's got. So, Kim, if we look over here at our screen, we've got some of the websites up here. We've got the openoffice.org. Okay, and that's not a .com. It's a, it's a .org, so yeah. it's a nonprofit, and typically that means the information is free. And so all you got to do to get this software is go to that address. It's that easy. And then click a button that probably says download. It says right. download, and, right. and it actually takes you to another screen where you have to click download one more time. So, but do you have to register or give them your credit card information or anything? When you start the program, it'll go through a registration process and ask you, but you can actually skip right. that. And I think one of the nice things about that is if, if you do register and there's an update or, mm -hmm. or something that comes, they'll, they'll email you a notification. But they don't use it to contact you or try to sell you no. anything at all. It's a great program. Uh, it's a great program. And the reason they do this is because the programming language that they're using is one that the company makes. Yeah. So they're trying to promote programmers to, to build applications using their software. Yeah. So the end result is a great win for consumers out there. Absolutely. Uh, now there's a Macintosh version of OpenOffice, and it's called uh, Neo Office. And, and I actually like that a lot. That's the one I use on on my computer, and I, I probably use it more than I use Office products anymore. Um, and it, it works and functions exactly the same as OpenOffice. Difference is just all strictly visual. Yeah. Uh, it looks more Macintosh-like. Uh, uh, that's another thing to point out that even though you know we're looking at these products and we use a lot of different products on our computers. Kim and I like a lot of the open source products better than commercial products. Sometimes. Well, in many cases, they, um, you know, they, they're faster, they're leaner, they're meaner. Mm -hmm. They haven't tried to, sometimes with commercial software, they, have much. To, they try to put so many things into yeah. commercial products because 
every new version, they've got to have something compelling. They're trying to do something that, for everybody. Exactly, and they're trying to sell you something. Oh, you need to buy the latest version because it's got this great new feature. Which I don't need. Which I don't need, and I can get by just fine with something like Open Office. Well, one of the things we're going to talk about today is we're going to go back to that build a budget idea like great. We, we did last week, mm -hmm. show some basic things in the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. There are some subtle differences on Open Office, but not a whole lot. Really, if you know a little bit about Excel, that's all going to transfer over. It's well, that's very easy great, to do. Because that's exactly how much I know about Excel. It's very little. Very little, and, and, and actually that's more than I want to know already. We're going to look at some free resources that are available. Remember when we looked at Excel, we found some free templates. That's right. Can... Same things are available for OpenOffice. Okay. Maybe not as many, but sure. there'll be more. Okay. And then we're going to talk about making charts. Ooh, I like charts and graphs because it's a lot easier for me to... to now, I'd much rather look at a chart or something yeah. like that and, and visually e examine information than look at a spreadsheet. And you're really good at making charts. I've seen some of them. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then, of course, we'll get to a viewer mail a little bit later. All right. Okay, so let's go over to uh, Open Office here. And, uh, okay. Let's see. I think we've got that up right over here. And we'll, we'll see that. It looks about the same. In fact, I've copied and pasted a spreadsheet well, from Excel straight into and, this. And that's interesting because you can work in open office and if you have something you need to share with somebody who only has Excel, mm -hmm. you can save it as an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of options. In right. There. So I remember this from last week. This was our, our, our little budget that we put together. And let's see if we see some of the common things that we saw. Remember in mm -hmm. Excel, there's a, uh, a formula bar. And the formula bar tells you either the value of what you've entered in like manually, yeah. or in this case, you've actually gotten some formulas set up. And you showed us how to do that last week. And this is in our basic budget formula. Right. And we we're going to talk about like some of the things that you can add to Open Office. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go back to the Open Office website here. Okay. And we're on a part called extensions. In fact, to get to that, let me go back to the uh, all the way back to the, the home page. Right. See if we get our internet connection to actually move. Yeah, there we go. Good it's job. Internet. Always a challenge. So, right, so, in, so an extension is something that used to extend the capability of the software. Mm -hmm. All right, makes sense. Actually, it'd probably be easier if I just type it in and go straight there. Sometimes on an internet connection, uh, things happen weird. That's right. So here we are, and this is where you would go where you would want to download. Very easy mm -hmm. to find the information. Uh, you don't have to search around on the page for some little obscure button. Yeah. They want you to download it. That's what their whole their whole intent. Second thing up there. Now, if you want to extend it or find extra things for it, right down here, okay. I want to do more. And we click this, and that takes us over to a page that has extensions. Okay. And these are extra things that we might want to put in. Very and you can search for the extensions different ways. We could actually go down here and put a keyword in the search. Okay. Or you can search by the specific application right, that you so want to do. When you click one of those links, it's going to open up into a, another window, and it's going to show you the different kinds of applications. So in Open Office, you've got um, you've got Writer, which mm -hmm. is the um, the equivalent of Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got Calc, which is what we were looking at just a second That's ago. That's a spreadsheet. That's a spreadsheet application. Chart is what lets you take a spreadsheet and convert it to a chart. It's actually an independent chart program, so you can, if all you want is a simple chart based on some numbers, you put in the numbers, uh, labels, okay. ready to go. I got it. We'll have to take a look at that too. Draw, which is an open office drawing program, mm -hmm. which I hadn't really spent a lot of time in until, until just recently, and it's really quite nice. Okay. I haven't tried uh, it either. Yep, it's really quite nice for doing, you know, image editing and, and, and making those kind of things. And then we have Impress, which is it's uh, a presentation PowerPoint, software, yeah. just like PowerPoint. And then finally, Mass. So there's an awful lot of great stuff to do in Open Office. And when we come back from the break, we'll take a look at the calc part and talk about uh, spreadsheets.